Let's face it, Roblox Doors can be a very hard and difficult game to master, like how many of you guys in the comments have even been able to beat the entire game? Exactly. But today, you will beat Roblox Doors, especially with these tips and tricks that are going to help you beat the game every single time. It's also going to change how you play the game forever. So don't forget to like and subscribe or else figure will get you every single time and let's dive right into those tips. Tip number one, smaller groups. It kind of makes sense when you really think about it. But last time when you were playing in a big server with other people, how often do you see people stealing closets from each other, pretty much ruining their chances of even getting past just a couple doors? Pretty often, I'm assuming, right? You want a higher chance of surviving, especially against Rush and other entities such as that. You're going to want to play preferably by yourself or one other friend, especially with the amount of closets in some of the rooms. Especially since some of these rooms that features Rush may only have two closets in it, which leaves the other two players in a four player server having to scramble in order to survive. Now obviously the only issue to this is that you're not going to be able to have other players to piggyback on, especially if you have a lot of revives to play around with. But that's okay, right? You're too much of a chat to even need to use a revive with these next couple tips anyway. Tip number two, sparkle sounds. While you're playing Roblox doors, how often do you notice this distinctive sparkling sound near certain cabinets? Most of the time, they do come with this blue light effect as well. These are going to be huge hints and also mark pathways for certain rooms that require you to hump them down in cabinets and drawers. It makes it way easier to find them using yes, headphones, sir. but the pros use this to their advantage as it's the quickest and easiest way to find annoying keys that would never be found. This one actually does apply to figure, believe it or not. In the bookshelves, in order to find the different code numbers in the books, these same sparkling sounds are played on those books as they appear in a different color compared to the rest. This is going to help speed things up way faster than before, giving you a better chance to beat door 50. So make sure you keep this sound recording ingrained in your brain if you want to progress through the game even quicker. Tip number three, flickering lights. This one mainly does apply to Rush, but it could be applied to other entities such as Ambush as well. But do you want to know a guaranteed way to know if Rush is coming up soon behind you? If you notice the lights flickering upon entering a new room and there are cabinets and hiding spots in the room, 9 times out of 10, Rush is coming soon and you should hide once he gets close. Rush is known to destroy all the lights as he rushes through the rooms, so the flickering lights is going to give you a heads up that he's coming a couple of rooms behind you. In later rooms, however, there are some rooms where the lights do flicker but nothing happens. So make sure you keep an ear open if he decides to swing by. Tip number 4, Easy Figure. Not going to lie, many people have the worst luck, especially when it comes to the entity figure in Door 50. Even though he's blind, people tend to always get caught by him due to his amazing hearing abilities, but there is a way you can prevent that. Make sure you crouch the whole time by pressing C in order to muffle your walking sound and stay off the path of Figure as well. And if you're in the room for a little bit, you will start to notice that Figure always walks in a specific route throughout the whole map. If you can memorize this pattern, you're gonna do just fine. Also, if he is coming towards you, don't run away, but just sit still out of his way and he should just walk past you. Stay calm and you'll do just fine. Tip number five, psst. As you continue your Roblox Doors journey, you may encounter another sound effect that could sometimes jump scare you as well. Dude, what was that? You gotta chill, bro. 
It surprises me that so many people who play this game don't even know what the sound is or what even to do about it once they hear it. But if you hear that sound, then you already know that Screech is somewhere around here and you gotta find him. You'll only have a couple seconds in order to move your camera around and fight him or else he will attack you and steal your health. Most of the time, he's chilling behind and if you find him quick enough, he'll leave you alone. The further you are progressed, Screech actually does appear even more often. But make sure you know what to do in this scenario, especially if you want to protect your precious health. Also, if you're one of those players who love traveling in dark rooms without using a light source, you'll have a way higher chance of spawning him, so make sure you bring something to avoid that. Tip number six, large compartments. Throughout the game, you will notice these large compartment drawers that contains five drawers in one compartment, usually situated in these types of rooms. These are going to be special drawers because they contain a 100% chance of leaving an item, and some of these items could be lighters, they could be batteries for your flashlights, lockpicks, and even medicine too. It's important to note that gold and keys will never spawn in these compartments, but these items should help you out quite a bit, especially if you want to progress to the harder rooms up ahead. So don't skip them at all. But make sure you like and subscribe if these tips helped you out, and good luck beating the game.